2012 um, Ford uh, Transit Connect. So I'm gonna um, swap out the um, the engine. Yeah, it's been misfiring, so um, I have a bend valve, like especially um, cylinder one. Change the coil, change the spark plug, check the the wire connections and stuff everything checked out fine so um, sound like if, if you stop at the light like it shake shut off and stuff but when you're driving it it's like so perfect so i'm gonna remove the engine instead of me doing the head or the valve it's easier for me to just pull everything out and just change the engine out I'm doing that my complex which I shouldn't be doing an engine job but it's Sunday so there's no one in the office so why not do it today so I'm gonna remove the, the engine I already got an engine right there that uh, I pay like 600 bucks for it um, then claim that it have um, 86,000 mileage, but you know, then can't tell you anything. Like, as long as you don't see what vehicle come out of the mileage, I think then at the store or junkyard or wherever, used car parts, and can't just tell you anything. Like, once they have the engine, you know, you say, Hey, the engine is 50,000 mileage, you can't even verify it, you just have to take the word for it. But then it says 80,000 mileage, so hopefully. That's what on it and stuff. So, I already took the bumper headlight off and stuff. I'm drained the, the coolant, I'm leaking out the freon. So, I'm just gonna remove the entire front, take out the condenser, the radiator, and stuff, and just pull it out from the front. support at the front lift this all off so once I lift that all off no no I, I got more space to maneuver and stuff I got a lot of bad hoses and stuff that I need to change that's leaking so I gotta change up a lot of stuff and I need a belt also Full of this aside on like a fender user for Support. So I got a lot of space at the front now. Let's 
Ça c'est des scampes. en low man bash and stuff. Drain the engine oil, chamisen oil. this joint here since recently I'm gonna change all these joints you see wet and stuff so I'm losing water coolant I should say so I'm getting there I think it's um, about 30% or 40% complete so far I'm gonna have 60% to go. This tank not be forcing noise. So I'm gonna have just the, the engine mount and the, the axle, the exhaust to pull and then we'll be ready to um, pull it out and stuff so we're gonna change the transmission oil and stuff so we get almost everything up here um, remove and stuff just this line, these two line right here I think you can just a little bit more space and stuff so I can remove this so, this is how it looks so far so, so, so let's drain the oil the transmission oil we drain the engine oil so let's drain the transmission oil then we're gonna remove the um the axles and remove the back mount and then we're ready to uh, Take it out. This is a little mess. Um, Saturday we got a lot of breeze and stuff, so we got a lot of leaves scattered all over the place. out on both sides I think it's just the um, alternator um, wire to remove and the engine should be ready to come on I should say it's ready right now to, to come on and stuff um, I think I'm gonna leave need the support right there I don't think I really need to move it I just need to remove this right there. Sure. 
It's all the same, it's different. The polystyrene pump is different. Something like that. Otherwise, I'm done. Look, okay. 